We're going to be buying some really crappy houses, fixing them up, and then refinancing all the cash back out. Dave and Kale, this is your video. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, real estate investors. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. As always, I am your host, James Wise. And uh, as I said, we're going to be uh, looking at two really crappy properties. They're not nice. They're, they're, not, uh, they're not what you know, you're going to see and you're going to be like, yeah, that's awesome. Nobody's going to like them. And uh, the tenants in their current state, they won't like them either. But uh, that's the name of the game, man. We're going to find some distressed stuff, fix it all up, and uh, we're going to make some money for my two clients, Dave and Kale. Now, fellas, just to clarify, I'm hoping this is uh, okay. I, I feel like this is how you guys wanted me to do this. Originally, I had started working with Dave. Um, Dave, we put that property under contract, the Fairmount property. We just finally locked that one up after some slow negotiations. Uh, but just so you know, um, Dave, when properties are listed, okay, and then uh, we're trying to get them for like deep discounts, like we got a pretty nice discount there. We tried to get even more of a discount. But when we're not giving these sellers like right at their list price, you know, we kind of got to slow play some of these negotiations. Not all of them are going to come together. Okay. I just want you to you know, be very upfront about that. Not all the deals are going to come together unless we're out there just paying list price for these properties, right? We're trying to get solid deals for you guys. So these sellers, right, we're offering them less than what they want, right? What they want is the list price. Okay. And we're not trying to give that to them. We're trying to score uh, solid deals for you guys. So we got to slow play these negotiations, right? So they're not, you know, just going to get wrapped up. Like we don't just hit a guy with a low offer. And then five seconds later, he's like, yeah, let me take the $10,000 loss. I love it. Let's do it. Right. You know, they, they say, no, we try to, you know, go back and forth with counters. They're trying to wait it out for a better offer. And we kind of slowly chip away and work them down to get you your solid deal. So uh, in a lot of these, you know, they, they might take several days to a week because what I can't do on your behalf is, you know, we shoot them a low offer, they don't say anything, and then five hours later, I'm like, what about my offer? What about my offer? What about my offer? You know, doing that, we're, we're showing our hands, so to speak, right? We're letting them know, like, man, we're, we're you know, we're, we're grinding at the bit. We really want this property. We don't want to do that, right? We just want to kind of toss our offer out there and kind of let it be, let them chase us, so to speak, right? We want to make them think that, hey, you know, we can, we can go elsewhere, right? There's a lot of fish in the sea kind of thing. So we don't want to get too aggressive. It's a you know, it's a negotiation tactic that I utilize uh, to get you guys better deals. So uh, I just want to set that up so you know that things are going to take a while. But anyway, after a long negotiation, we got that under contract. We're good there. And then you told me at that time, you're probably going to bring in some buddies. You guys are going to pull your money together. You guys, a bunch of oil and gas engineers out of Texas. You guys got a, a ton of liquid cash to work with. You all have great credit, great W-2 income. So you guys are trying to go big, right? I, I, th I think between you and Kale, I think you guys have like it was like 350 or 400k uh, between the two of you guys that's 20 mortgages that we could utilize and uh you know you you introduced me to kale kale also came in got the 10 property package analysis so now you've both got two 10 property analysis we kind of started combining it kind of talking together in one thread so i wanted to just make this video uh with these two properties addressing both of you guys uh, i'm going to send it to both of you guys at the same time and um you know, the way I set this up when I do these uh, analysis packages, you guys buy all these packages from us. You know, we have like a, a software, we, we put all you guys' information in there and we, you know, we track how many videos we've done for you, how many you have, like what you're looking for, notes from the last video, things of that nature. So I've just kind of combined you two uh, at this point. And uh, if you'd like me to separate you guys back out or something of that nature, just let me know. Uh, and then we'll, we'll work that out in the next video. But as of right now, you know, I'm looking at you guys as kind of like a package uh, for 20 video or 20 properties we're going to analyze. We've already analyzed two. We're going to do another two today. And uh, that's how I'm, I'm going about this because that's kind of the gist I got with you guys. Uh, hit me up with your, uh, your LLC and you guys are, you know, just pulling these funds, man. And I like it. That's smart, right? Especially if you're, you know, working in a high income field, right? Like the oil and gas industry down there in Texas. I'm sure there's a bunch of, you know, just a bunch of hungry dudes out there who are just trying to build themselves businesses. And what I liked about you two guys is um, 
the gist I get is you guys are, you're gung ho, you're ready to go. You got a bunch of cash. You don't need the cash right now. So you're, you're willing to take on some risks for the big payoff down the road, build something big for the future. You're not trying to live off this money tomorrow, which is good because you shouldn't. And uh, that's, that's what I've done. And uh, I, I've got some stuff here that I think you guys are really going to like. So I'm just going to jump into this one. 3532 Carlisle Avenue, Cleveland, Ohio, 44109. This property just hit the market, listed by uh, Progressive Urban Real Estate, dude. $42,900. And this is a little three bed, two bath. And uh, it's not pretty, right? That's, that's, that's good, though, right? We don't want it to be pretty, dude. If it's pretty, a bunch of other people want to buy it, right? You know, nobody's really loving this right now. Like this kitchen, dude, this is like old, right? These cabinets, you know, old, old cabinets. Everything is old. Everything doesn't look good. Carpet, ugh, ugly, gross. Walls, ugh, ugly, dingy, gross. Um, appear to have good bones, which is what we want. But just cosmetically, nobody's impressed. Nobody's happy. We got like, uh, you know, on this one picture, we got a little old, nasty, gross ceiling fan. We got like some yellowing uh, window treatment thing. And then you got grandma's... Uh, whatever the hell that thing's called. I don't know, wallpaper border. And then the wall is like, you know, old, dingy, gross, mint green or something with some gross carpet, right? This is this is money signs for us though, dudes, right? For you guys and me, whoo, this is money. Uh, this bathroom, you know, like, what is that? That tub, it's like, I don't know, it's like a, 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 what kind of pink is that? Is that like a peach or something? <laughs> like, it's just fucking ugly. And that's awesome. I fucking love it. This is just, a fucking low, low crap hole. Nobody's excited about except for us. This is great. So because of all that, yeah, I, I think you guys are, are perfect. You're coming in cash. You got a ton of cash, great proof of funds. We're strong buyers. We, we, we already know what it looks like. We're planning on doing a reno. So I think we're going to come in. We'll be able to pick this up for 35 K and then we're going to put $20,000 into this. I want to deck this out. The huge, you know, pull out the nasty carpets. We're going to refinish the hardwoods. We're going to go agreeable gray throughout the whole property. White trim. We're going to upgrade the kitchens and baths, and we're going to do premium upgrades. I'm talking, I want to put granite or quartz countertops under mount sink. I want to deck this sucker out. We're going to deck this property out for two reasons. One, because I want stable Section 8 tenants. Doing that, I think we're going to get $1,000 a month in rent or $12,000 a year. The second reason that I want to deck this thing out is I want to burr this out for you. I want to do a burr deal. That's buy, renovate, rent, refinance, repeat. I want to, you know, build you guys just a monstrous portfolio over the next decade or so. Let's, let's go big. Uh, that's the, uh, that's what I get from you guys. You guys aren't doing this uh, to buy four houses, right? You guys are trying to go big. You know, let's get you 50, 100, 200, 300 doors. Let's go big here. Uh, so what we want to do, we want to deck the sucker out so we get that nice Section 8 tenant. Because the rent, right, the rent needs to be consistent. So Section 8 is going to help us because the neighborhood at this point, it's a D-class neighborhood, right? I've talked about this neighborhood in many of my videos. Uh, I'm sure my editing team, they're going to pull it up on the screen right now. We are right next to Metro Health, which I love because Metro's investing a billion dollars into this neighborhood, into their campus, into housing in the area. So we're going to see, my opinion, some appreciation in this neighborhood. I think this neighborhood is going to improve quite a bit. On top of that, just to the north, we got the hot neighborhoods in Cleveland. Ohio City, Tremont, Gordon Square, Edgewater. Those are the hot neighborhoods. Those are areas that used to be all ghetto, and now you see people buying five, $600,000 houses, right? You get a lot of yuppies, a lot of hipsters living up there, okay? I'm not telling you guys your house is going to be worth six hundred grand in like 10 years. I'm not saying that, but I think it's a D right now, and I think that's going to go up. But to alleviate the risks, not all the risks, we're not going to alleviate all the risks. There's still risks, of course, but to you know, lessen the burden of those tough risks, we're going to deck the sucker out, get on the Section 8 program, should reduce our turnover because we're going to have the nicest house. It's going to be beautiful, very high end uh, for what a Section 8 tenant would be used to. And that's also going to help us on the appraisal, right? Because the goal is to pull the cash back out. So performance-wise, Thousand comes in. I anticipate spending an average of four sixty. I'm sorry, four fifty six. You know, repairs, maintenance, vacancy, non payment, capex, stuff like that. Even though we're renovating it, we're still going to account for repairs and maintenance because eventually people will turn over. We're going to have to do a turn. 
uh, vacancy and non-payment. Not everybody, even though we're making it sweet, even though we're going to go Section 8, doesn't mean we're still going to get rent 100% of the time. Just don't work like that, especially in a D-class neighborhood. CapEx, right? My budget here for this, this renovation, I want to pick it up at 35. I want to put 20 into it. So I want to be all in at 55. Now, that $20,000 renovation is not something that I think we're going to be doing a brand new roof, a brand new furnace, brand new hot water tank. You know, they're in there, they're existing, they're working, but they're medium to end of life. So we're going to account for the replacement of them, right? Roof on this house, it's going to be like a $5,000 roof. It's going to last about 30 years. I don't know where we are in that lifespan, but it's, it probably ain't new, right? So we're probably somewhere in the middle there. So we're going to save money knowing that that roof replacement's coming. Hot water tank, it's going to cost 1000 They They last about 15 years. I don't know where we're at, but I don't anticipate it being new. Uh, cat, um, I'm sorry. It's roof, hot water tank was the last one I'm looking for. Furnace, right? Furnace. 30 years as well. should be about 3Gs. We don't got a brand new furnace. But we don't need a brand new furnace at this moment. The existing furnace works. We just need to know we're going to put some of our cash flow away because those are coming, right? Insurance, you know, my team. We'll quote you guys on the insurance. I'm guesstimating it's going to be about 60. In the show notes below, you guys just click the link and uh, that will get you an act, uh, an actual quote, but it should be about 60. And everybody else watching these guys show, uh, click that link as well for your portfolio. You don't have to be in Cleveland either, guys. It doesn't matter where your properties are. We are licensed coast to coast to provide landlords with insurance. We're appointed through farmers, various other companies. So we'll be able to take care of you there. So that, that, that guys, that's all the stuff, right? Oh, oh, one other thing as far as the uh, the renovation too, uh, the the garage roof. You're going to see this on your inspection report. The uh, overhead beam, according to the listing agent, it's kind of messed up. So we're going to have to put some money in there. But all that stuff, the nice cosmetic stuff, and the the garage, depending on like, if it's just like a little thing of supporting that joist. I think we'll be at about 20. It might go over just a little bit depending on what we do to the garage, but I think we should be at 20, right? So we're all into this thing for 55. As far as the performance, I believe we'll spend an average of 456, leaving us with an NOI of 544. And then this is where this is where it gets good, dudes. So we're all in that thing at 55. Okay, that's an 11.9 cap. That's all great. But if we get it to appraise at what I think it's going to appraise for, because we're decking it, I think it'll appraise for 65,000. If it does, we're going to use one of you guys' 20 mortgages, get a mortgage of 48,750. So you're all in. To this sucker after you get all your money back out you're only into it for six thousand two hundred fifty dollars between two of you that's like three grand a person dude like you guys go out to a, a casino and uh night on the town doing a bunch of drinking you could drop three grand easily uh so that that's nothing right and because of that you know that little three grand investment you guys are gonna be uh you know should be cash flowing after the mortgage you know about 2500 bucks a year which is a 65 percent cash on cash return so this is something that like, um, you know, we're going to capitalize on the section eight market. We're going to capitalize on the fact you guys have cash. You don't need the money tomorrow. So you can, you know, wait it out, do a big renovation, pull that money back out. And, um, you know, the cash flow is going to be great long term. And in my opinion, I, I'm going to see some appreciation. So I, I think this is going to be a perfect property for you two dudes. Now we're going to go to a word from the sponsors of today's show. And I'm going to get into the second property, which is very similar. G'day everyone, it's Angela Ramora here, your favorite Australian and the founder and owner of Ohio Cashflow. Over the last five years, Ohio Cashflow has established itself as the most reputable turnkey real estate investment company in the country. We offer solid B-class properties in Toledo, Ohio. We work and live in the same areas that we sell in. So when we sell your property, your tenants become our neighbors. We only take on a handful of investors every month. So for your chance to work with one of the best in the business, please fill out our investor application form, which you can find in the video notes below. Thanks for listening. And as we say down under, I'll catch you later, mate. Is that it? Yeah, we're done. Based in Indianapolis, Indiana, FS Houses is the premier investment property brokerage with an in-house property management department that can take care of all those unwanted landlord headaches. FS Houses can offer you the complete turnkey solution as well as wholesale properties offered to you at a discounted rate. With a network of thousands of active investors, wholesalers, and brokers, FS Houses can help you sell your property for top dollar on the open market or in a hurry to motivated investors seeking distressed real estate. Visit fshouses.com 
or call 317-492-9025 for more information on the Indianapolis, Indiana real estate. All right, gentlemen, the next property I've got for you, we're going to have some pretty similar numbers here. 907 East Avenue. This one is in Elyria, 44035. Now, this one's been on the market forever, dude. Listed by Caldwell Banker 175 days ago. Listed forever. 44000 is the current price. Now, this one, same thing, dude. It's just a... Uh, it actually looks pretty cool uh, from the front. The front actually looks like a pretty nice house, but it's not. <laughs> it's crummy. Um, by the way, you see that uh, gravel driveway? That's fairly common in Elyria. I, I see that all over the place. You don't really see that in Cleveland, but you do see it quite a bit in Elyria. So nothing we need to address. That's that's par for the neighborhood. Don't think you need to put in a new driveway. And then inside here, you know, just old, crummy. We got, uh, you know, freaking 1930s wallpaper. The floor is just beat to all holy hell. And, uh, you know, it's just a ugly property that needs a full renovation, right? Just a a crummy, crappy house that uh, we are going to come in and we're just totally going to redo it. So for this one, it's been on the market forever, also crappy. I'm going to try to pick this one up, same price, 35000 As far as the renovation, we're going to do all the same stuff, but this house is bigger, okay? This is a bigger house, so I budgeted another $5,000. So this renovation, I anticipate, should be approximately 25000 So if we can get it for thirty-five, we put twenty-five. you know, Refinishing those floors, making the kitchen look good, making the baths look good, repainting everything, you know, one color. I'm sure there's like random things in there. When my staff gets in there, they're going to find like the windows uh, are not all working or opening and closing properly. I'm sure we need smoke detectors. We got to change the locks. You know, just all kinds of stuff, right? Just looking at this to get this like ready to rock and roll, you know, premium upgrades, looking good for our tenants, 25 Gs, right? We spent 25 Gs. We buy it for 35 you guys are all in for 60. We're going to target Section 8 tenants again. That's going to put us at approximately $1,000 a month in rent or $12,000 a year. Now, a lot of these single family homes, right? <clears throat> I'm giving you guys uh, the estimate of 1000 bucks a month on Section 8. Just so everyone is aware, just want to be upfront with you guys, be super clear, be super transparent, dude. The Section 8 program, uh, it's, it's a mess. And Elyria is actually in a different county. So Cleveland, the Section 8 program is administered by CMHA, different, uh, different housing authorities administering it here in Elyria because it's in Lorain County, uh, but it's basically the same. So on the, the Holton Wise uh, Section 8 FAC, you go to HoltonWise.com, click our property management FAC, we'll take you to the Section 8 FAC. We've kind of laid out how working with us and working with the Section 8 program is going to work. Uh, do not anticipate anything being like super smooth. And you got to understand, there's a lot of bureaucracy involved and like, dude, there's going to be some goofy stuff happening and it, it's a bunch of red tape and it's a mess. And if you ask five employees that work, you know, for these housing authorities, the same question, you're probably going to get five different answers. As far as the way the rental offers come about, they like provide you a rental offer based on each individual house. I anticipate it being approximately a, a thousand bucks uh, for a lot of these like three bedroom, one bathroom homes. It's usually around there, but it's going to be random numbers, dude. It might be like 1,007, uh, 986, uh, 972, just like random numbers. So there will be some deviation. And, uh, you know, if I could tell you the rhyme or reason behind exactly how they come up with uh, each individual number, uh, I'd be magical because uh, the people that work there don't even have a clue how that goes. And, you know, you get, you get, you get organizations like this. There's a lot of turnover. Uh, you're dealing with a lot of new people. So like, don't ever anticipate uh, it being like super concise and super organized working with these housing authorities. And don't ever like anticipate them giving a shit about you. Like if you're like, oh, it's crappy customer service. How do they not care about me as a customer? Dude, it's, it's the government, bro. They don't, they don't care, bro. It's, it's the government. Like they don't give a shit if you're happy with how their people are performing for you. So you know, we try to address all of the and try to like set you guys up knowing that it's going to be kind of goofy uh, dealing with these housing authorities, but that's what you're paying us for. It's a big pain in the dick, man. It really is. But that, that, that's why we charge for it and all that stuff that's in the Section 8 fact. I just want to make sure you guys are aware because, you know, sometimes we get into these projects and uh, get into putting folks in there and everybody's all gung ho. They watch the video. They're like, fuck yeah, dude, let's go make a bunch of money. Badass returns, bird deals. 
And then stuff gets slow, right? It slows down and we're waiting for Section 8 to do this or we're waiting for them to do that. And then like the rent doesn't hit the exact number and everybody's like, ah, oh, what the hell? Everybody kind of loses the steam. So I'm just trying to like let you know, man, it's not all going to happen immediately. It's going to be some slow delays and there's going to be goofy stuff. But uh, at the end of the day, you're still going to make some money. You guys are just going to have to be patient and know that it's not going to be super perfect. And the housing authority that we're at the mercy of, uh, they don't like, you know, customer sat your customer satisfaction is not something that they like really highly value so just full disclosure on all that right that's what i'm all about painting the accurate picture but all that said it's still the right way to go uh this particular neighborhood this is about a c-class neighborhood right so we're bringing in a thousand a month we're going to be all into this investment for sixty thousand. as far as what i anticipate our estimated costs i think we're going to spend an average of 473 a month bringing home an average of 527 as far burring it out, again, this is where it gets good, guys. Since we're in a C-class neighborhood now, a little bit nicer neighborhood, I don't have any thoughts on this neighborhood shifting up or down in the, in the near future. So I think the D-class neighborhood Carlisle is in, I believe that neighborhood's on an uptick. This particular neighborhood, it's already one level up, but I don't think it's going anywhere. I think it's just going to remain flat. Uh, but it's currently a nicer neighborhood, so you're going to get a little bit better quality of tenant, and we're probably going to achieve a higher refinance price so our target we're hoping since we're putting 25k into this bad boy we're decking it out making it badass i'm anticipating us getting it to appraise for seventy five thousand. we get it to appraise for seventy five thousand of your 60 guys you're gonna get 56 250 back meaning you're all in for 3750 which would put you guys at a 93 percent cash on cash return because i anticipate you guys making almost 3500 dollars a year off this property one other thing i want to hit uh, again, super effort to be transparent. Back to our property management fact. I had said this is in a different county. This is Lorain County. Here's the deal with Holton Wise, guys. Cleveland Market, the greater Cleveland Market. Cleveland, Ohio, our company, we are based out of, uh, technically it's a suburb that borders Cleveland, Ohio. It's called Parma. We're literally across the street from Cleveland. So we'll do Cuyahoga County, and then we'll hit the counties that border, right? So we got Lorain, Medina, Summit. Uh, we'll do Portage. I guess it kind of borders it. It's like kind of diagonal there. And then Geauga and Lake, right? We'll hit up all those. We'll do the management in all those counties. Uh, but if it's outside of Cuyahoga County, we have a surcharge. Every time a member of our team has to go to the property, we have to charge you the surcharge. So what you want to do is go to uh, our property management FAC, download a free copy. It's available for free for everybody to check it out. Even if you're another property manager out there trying to figure out how you can start your own property management business and you're looking to grab resources from me, there you have it, guys. That's an ironclad property management agreement. Feel free to, to steal it, do what you got to do, adjust it for your needs, okay? All that is out there. That thing has been through battles, been through wars. It's been through hundreds of properties, thousands of tenants. Uh, you know, that's a solid contract. That's, that's a great contract, all right? Check that out. Our leases are there as well. The, the, you know, you guys keep those as a free resource for yourselves, okay? But anything that's out of Cuyahoga, we got to charge you that surcharge. Pricing is in there. Um, it's very minute though, and it's not an additional monthly charge. You only have to deal with that every time we have to send people out there, right? So, you know, if the gas, uh, you know, the HVAC guy has to go out there because we got an issue with the gas, you're going to pay an additional surcharge that somebody who's in Cuyahoga County wouldn't pay. However, that said, grand scheme of things, we, we're not like going to your property every single month. You're only going to deal with this. Uh, when we're placing tenants in your property or when we're doing repairs and we're going to do a big old renovation at the beginning. So it should be relatively minute and rather immeasurable. In addition, the tax rates are going to be lower in Lorain County than they are in Cuyahoga County. So it should all even out more or less, but that's the deal. I just want to be super transparent and let you guys know that. So with all of that in mind, fellas, I think both of these properties are going to be solid bird deals for you guys. And uh, let me know uh, what you guys want to do. If you guys want to put in offers as far as like what we're titling them, let us know if you want it titled in the LSC. Let us know if you want to put up the title in Dave's name. Let us know if you want to put the title in Kale's name. You know, I, I don't know how much you guys have talked to, to lenders, but typically just so you know, uh, lenders on these 30-year mortgages, they don't want to put the properties in your LLC name. So you guys may find that you're going to need to put 20 properties in Dave's personal name and then 20 properties in Kale's name. And then you guys have 
you know, a master operating agreement, a private agreement that says, you know, divides up the actual ownership stakes in relation to your LLC, but technically on the deeds, we got personal names. So that way you're still able to obtain that financing. You'll want to talk to your lenders uh, to, to verify that they're, they're no go on LLCs. Some are a little more lenient than others, but the majority of the time they want it in a personal name. In addition, uh, anybody else out there who's looking to pool money with their buddies and, and partner up and build their own portfolio, if you need lenders, I have a list of lenders in the show notes below. Uh, you want to go ahead and subscribe to our mailing list and go ahead and just send us. Uh, we got our contact information in there. Go ahead and get to our website, send us your contact information. We'll get you that list of lenders. We got a link right to our, our lender list. Uh, you can fill out the information and we'll get you our list of lenders. They'll be able to write you 30 year loans, get you 10 residential mortgages. Guys, doesn't matter where you live. You could be in Texas like these dudes. You could be in California. You could be in New York, wherever you live, guys, those lenders will set you up. And the properties don't have to be our properties either. You know, you could be a guy living in California using one of our lenders to buy properties in Indianapolis. It's all good. That's another free resource for you guys. So check that out. If you want to work with me like Dave, uh, Dave and Kale are, uh, go to the property search tab, click the MLS search and analysis show, get yourself a package, work with me and my team, just like these guys are. Or if you just want to see what our inventory is and you just want to make bids, you already know what you want. You don't need any one-on-one. -on -one, check out the investment properties for sale show. We got video tours of the properties we are selling. Dave and Kale, that's all I got for you guys today, man. I look forward to speaking with you more and getting your reply to the, the email with this video that I've just sent you in a private link. And then um, just so everyone else is aware, everybody who's not those two that's watching this, these properties aren't available, guys. Don't send my team an email trying to buy them. Uh, we send these out privately to the people who bought them. Do the deal. Uh, get the deal done. Or perhaps we don't do the deal. The property gets sold to somebody else, the listing agent, the seller trying to sell it to. Uh, and when the property's gone, that's when I publicly release these. I don't publicly release these while the deals are still out there. You don't get to watch the show and then snake my guy's deals. That wouldn't be a very good service that they're paying for if I took the properties that they paid me to analyze and then blasted it out to 30 plus thousand people, uh, thus increasing the, uh, the buyer competition for them, right? That would be a crummy service. So we don't do that. So if you're watching it and you're not, those two dudes. That's why it's, it's later. It's down the road. It's just for education. Okay. That's all I've got for all y'all today. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys, put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Over 50% of those living in the greater Memphis area rent their home. This fact combined with the high price to rent ratio is why Forbes rates Memphis, Tennessee as one of the top real estate investment markets in the country. Memphis Investment Properties and their sister property management company, Reedy & Company Realtors, are among the largest and most trusted turnkey operations in this market. With over 30 years in business, a portfolio consisting of more than 2,700 active rentals, and an impeccable track record renovating over 6,000 single-family homes, it's no surprise they are one of the most reputable turnkey operations in the United States. Discount Property Warehouse, founded by real estate visionary Robert Beal, author of The Short-Term Retirement Program, is a complete turnkey solution for acquiring cash-flowing investment properties in Memphis, Tennessee. Our turnkey properties include a third-party home inspection, new HVAC with 10-year warranties, new dimensional roofs, competitive price-to-rent ratios, discounted property insurance, in-house property management, private financing, and much more. At Discount Property Warehouse, we have a staff of licensed agents standing by, ready to assist you with every aspect of the process. Call us today or visit us online at discountpropertywarehouse.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including 
video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.